morning. Happy Monday, December 13th. Only two days left after today until the end of open enrollment for the under 65 for the health insurance in the marketplace. So if you need it, don't hesitate to call at the bottom of the screen. Get on the stick. Let's get that taken care of. Hey, what's going on in this world? Well, we just laid to rest uh, Senator Bob Dole. If you remember, he was a presidential candidate back in the 90s, and I will say that I did vote for him. Other things that are going on here, the labor shortage, wow. I heard that in October, over two million people quit their jobs, not laid off, and then again in November, another two million people quit their jobs and not laid off. And then you saw that Starbucks in uh, New York, Buffalo, New York, they voted to have a union at that store. I wonder how that's actually going to work out. But you know what I think it is? I think the labor force is getting tired of the abuse of customers and of employers. So you got two factors going on there. I know I've heard in the background here that uh, pharmacists are planning on walking off the job on December 20th. Don't know how true that is, but uh, I would say if you need to get prescriptions filled, you probably want to do it before December 20th and uh, all. And let's see what else is going on here. Oh, and kids now. They're saying that children, uh, what, 17, 18, can get their vaccines and that that's the highest growing rate of hospitalizations for the COVID. So anyway, let's uh, get to today's topic. Let's explore that is AARP too political and a good place to start is let's start with the founder. AARP was founded by a woman whose name was Ethel Percy Andres in 1958. She was an educator, in fact she was the very first uh, female principal in the state of California. She was also inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and she was very much a believer in the rights of senior citizens or our elderly here. So this is the basis of AARP. AARP, believe it or not, is a nonprofit. Okay, that's easy to figure out, but they're also a nonpartisan organization. So hence goes back to my question: Are they too political? Well, they're nonpartisan. A lot of my customers would say, well, they don't understand how, but that is what their basis is. They are a nonpartisan organization. They believe in leading positive social change for elderly people through information, advocacy, and service. Mark, so that's just a lot of blah, 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 blah. Well, not really, because AARP believes that as people age and they retire, hey, wait a minute, we're in the Christmas season. I've got my snowman tie on. Uh, they believe that as senior citizens retire that life shouldn't come to an end, that these people should be able to give back to their communities. And uh, to do that, people need to be happy, active, and healthy. And this is the basis of AARP. Don't you think that sounds reasonable? And with that in mind, it seems reasonable that AARP would be out there lobbying and trying to protect your rights and my rights, um, I'm almost there, I'm 63, as senior citizens. You know, think about what just happened with the, uh, the pay increase from minimum wage going up to $15. Who does that hurt? Well, there's a reason why a lot of politicians in the past didn't want to do that. Uh, it really hurts senior citizens who are on fixed incomes. Okay, Social Security raised their uh, pay by 6%. But if you think about it, we went from about a $10 an hour pay increase to a $15. That's you know, really like a 50% increase but senior citizens are not going to get that out of Social Security. So this is one of the reasons why AARP was there, to empower people um, through legislative um, means to be able to stay active, happy, and healthy, and give back to their community. With that in mind, wouldn't it be nice to join AARP? I did. And uh, have them work for you to make sure that you can stay active, happy, and healthy in your life. Life doesn't need to end when you retire. You know, when I first got into the insurance business, it seemed like a lot of people would retire and then three, four, five years later they were perishing. But now, 
people were living a lot longer and what do they say uh, 50s are the new 30s and 60s are the new 40s and 70s are the new 50s and 80s are the new 50s and 90s are the new 50s and 100s hey let's see if we can make it there remember what George Burns used to say his goal was to make it to 100 because when he made it to 100 every morning he'd wake up and he'd look into the obituaries and he would say there are very few people 100 years old in there so that's the category, you know, that's what he wanted to be in. But that's the basis of AARP. So now the question then becomes is, why do I get all this junk in the mail? Well, there now I think you've got a valid reason to uh, maybe complain. For me, I am tired of getting, it seems like, probably not as often as it seems, but it seems like every other week I'm getting something about buying uh, this type of an insurance product, that type of an insurance product, and, and all. And, and whatnot. I think that's probably why we get tired and maybe think that they're too political. The other thing is, when it comes to insurance, ARP believes everybody should have insurance. Show me an insurance company that doesn't believe in that. And uh, you know, they've tried to provide good quality products for senior citizens. And you can look at uh, the Medicare supplements. A lot of that stuff is written through United Healthcare. But then they also offer uh, programs through Hartford for property and casualty. You see advertisements for phones and things of this nature. It's all to help you live your life and my life as cheaply as possible. So once again, these things may not be as much of a concern. This is one of the reasons why AARP is too political. So ultimately the question is, are they too political? From my perspective at my desk here, maybe they're not political enough. I don't know, but this is the reason why when my customers will tell me and I'm showing them products and I say, okay, we have this company and that company and this company and that company and the ARP. I don't want ARP. They're too political. Well, that's the basis of today's topic. And remember, you're supposed to be in the Christmas spirit giving back. And that's what ARP wants. It's senior citizens who retire to be able to give back to the community. With that in mind, Merry Christmas. So what's going on here at the MLD agency? Well, open enrollment for senior citizens came to an end uh, December 7th. And today now is the 13th. So it's been just about a week and, and all. So we're still in the process of trying to service some of those existing accounts that needed to be serviced um, during the open enrollment period. Open enrollment, as I said at the beginning here, ends in two days on Wednesday for under 65 health insurance marketplace. That's what's going on here. We're in the busy, um, busy part of our season, writing a lot of insurance and servicing a lot of our customers. So if you need anything in the next couple of days here, give me a call at the bottom of the screen. I'll be more than happy to try and find a policy that's in your best interest. Take care. Until next week, bye now.